who's going to be reading for a sign of leo all that i need to know for the next four days what what all is happening in your life in terms of your finances your your romantic life your past person or uh, like what's next for you so let's take first three cards for you then move to your person so leo sun moon rising venus and north node what is going on the first card we have for you is the empress card which speaks about progress which speaks about abundance which speaks about financial gains which feel uh, which speaks about you feeling fulfilled within as a person as a soul i do believe in the recent past you could have cut contacts with a third person it doesn't have to be all, all, always romantic it can be someone who was hurting you by just being a part of you physically or not physically okay in in terms of uh, what else do we see coming up for leo with five of swords yes uh, you you do have doubts about a, a certain uh, thing or situation in your life but you know sometimes when you're moving on you're always going to have doubts it is not like you're going to just switch from a very chaotic mind to a peaceful mind it doesn't happen that way it's it's not like the movies you know you go you go through a healing you know, process some days are going to be good some days are going to be not so good and that's fine that's completely fine i do feel like um, in the coming days you guys could be a little upset about someone who has run you wrong but majorly you will still try to focus on yourself i don't see you doing anything that you're going to later regret okay like you're, you you i mean you're going to plot revenge yes you're upset but you you're not going to plot revenge okay what else do i see in terms of six of wands overall in in, in terms of a career in terms of uh, your personal growth spiritual growth i see you progressing i see you moving forward i also see you possibly looking forward towards your successful future journey endeavors pro projects uh, investments you are you're looking forward very 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 positively and you're wanting to achieve that success you you want you're wanting to step up okay in 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 terms of your attention i believe you're going to get attention from lot other individuals lot other the suitors okay that is if you're wanting to stay open if you're not you continue with your journey right in terms of your relationship what's coming up relationship seems stuck and stagnant knight of pentacles this person has been taking a lot of time to take action to reach out okay they are literally taking baby steps extremely cautious and calculative okay in terms of how do they think about you okay how do they think about you they feel like you're watching them you're stalking them but you're not reaching out likewise even they are stalking you they are watching you but they are not reaching out okay in in terms of their intentions for you intention with page of cups this person does want to step up this person does want to uh, look forward to this connection in terms of uh, their feelings feelings with king of cups this person has a lot of emotions for you okay if that's the case spirit why are they not showing it why are they not acting on it with with queen of swords they are they are wearing a mask they are they are they are wearing a false uh, uh, you know like a cover they are they are trying to uh, like cover up their feelings or their emotions that that they've got for you they are not trying to be uh, very much uh, open to you okay top card we have is the magician however they do want to manifest this connection they do want to look forward to this connection in the recent past i, I do believe they took a step back okay and then you got uh, cautious you you got defensive in in terms of their heart space what do they truly have for leo i do believe that with the king of swords upright here this person has been kind of detached from you uh, for a while okay they haven't been showing you the emotions for some of you they haven't been if, even replying to your messages like they are acting rude detached unbothered to be very honest but in terms of their heart space i'm still getting a clear cut message that they still want to be a part of you they still want to jump forward okay in in terms of what could be blocking this connection or uh, this person has to make a decision okay in terms of the judgment card do we see any third party 
I do believe that the third, uh, it is not majorly the third part. The person thought that they are not the right match for you. It was a self doubt that was getting in the way. Your person has low self esteem. They feel that you're much better than them. That you deserve better. They might not be vocally saying that out or spitting that out, but I do sense that this person is is not feeling equal to you. They feel like they won't have enough to open up to you, to to uh, give in, to contribute, you know, or uh, to uh, like invest. No, I see this person having a very lack mindset. Okay, in terms of Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, that is why they they took a step back in the past. Okay. However, uh, in in terms of the near future, do we see anything positive coming for Leo? In the coming days, I I do see you in a better space. I won't say that you'll be happy and joyous and enjoying, but you'll be in a very much a calm space. Okay, uh, what's going to help is you have detached yourself completely from this person, uh, from situations that were pulling you down. Okay, uh, you are also holding back majorly. Okay. Uh, I believe you have a gut feeling and intuition that is guiding you, but you have to listen to that shit. You know, you you can have intuition, but if you do not listen to it, then there is no use of it. It's like having a college degree, but not really really using it for a job. You know, you know what I'm saying, right? So in in terms of uh, that, where is this connection going? There are going to be changes for sure for Leo. But I still believe this connection that you are being a part of won't really go smooth for a while. It's going to go through its process, ups and downs. Okay, I'll be very straightforward. I do see there are changes coming in. I do feel this person wants to be a part of you. Uh, this person wants to come forward. However, they'll have their a uh, series of doubts that are going to keep getting in the way. Okay, in in terms of the long term outcome. Long term outcome. To be quite honest with you, I do feel that this person is serious about you. However, they'll have to let go of uh, whatever someone is. Uh, you know, say suppose some other third person is influencing them. It doesn't have to be a third party. Like romantically, it it can be a friend, a family member, or oh, ex partner influencing them to believe that they are not right for you. You know what I'm saying? Once that is off. I see the step uh, forward uh, going well for you. The the next uh, level going well for you. The next cycle going well for you. And sure thing, it has the potential of going full circle. Now, say suppose you not want this person. Okay, you're just wanting to stay single for a while. Then whatever you're working on, be it financial, be it your whatever you know, like a business thing or your work life. I see that going really well for you around uh, November this very year. You're you're going to have a breakthrough in terms of a possible uh, you know like a shift or like a positive shift. A lot of financial gains coming in. Or uh, you, if you were waiting on a project to go in a certain way, then you're going to get the necessary results around November. If it's not uh, results, then uh, maybe a promotion, maybe a pay raise. Okay. In terms of that, what else do we see coming up for Leo? Uh, I also see a new person coming in your life if you're open to that around June. Okay. You'll you'll have a new new person in your life uh, around June mainly. The signs I see are fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius with a Gemini touch. Okay, I also sense a strong Libra. Okay, uh, this person might also be having fire in their chart like Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, so yes, this is all for now. Some of you guys might have met this person, but in terms of a connection that uh, that can be formed around the month of June, May June. Okay. So let's not plot on June itself. In in terms of your finances, how do we see that going? Finances, you're still waiting on uh, like positive changes, and I just like I mentioned earlier, I I do see it going your way. Okay. Uh, you're very much focused, and you're ch basically chasing your dreams, and you're gonna get the results. So uh, you know, with two of cups here, whatever you're working, expectations, whatever that is, you're gonna get that. Okay. Uh, in terms of a new person, like if you have had someone, you're still taking your own sweet time, and I believe you you will take more time. Uh, this might be uh, based on attraction or energy. Sometimes attraction is not always like physical looks. Sometimes it can be energy as well. Sometimes someone's energy is so very addictive, right? Healing and addictive at the same time. 
uh, with two of pentacles i i believe if you have a new person you will take your due course of time to uh, possibly accept them in your life but for now i still see it being dicey okay so that is all i have for leo for the month of april if it resonates kindly hit the like button every like counts okay so every time you hit a like button it helps me to grow as a channel okay all those are wanting a personal reading with me please reach out on the website and book one for yourself we do have a 15 percent discount code going on thank you so much for uh, watching this video to come to the channel for your support so far and i hope to see you soon guys cheers love you all